Hello, Pisces. It's time for another reading, y'all. Glad to see you back here. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Y'all like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. We'll see what's challenging you, the person you're dealing with, what kind of person they are, how they view you, your thoughts and feelings, and the outcome. Here we go. What is challenging you, Pisces? What is the challenge for Pisces? What is the challenge for Pisces? We have two of wands. Ready to start out on something new. Looking to see what's out there. Um, let's clarify the two of wands. Clarify the two of wands. You're feeling stuck. I feel like you're feeling stuck. You daydream a lot. Um, but what's keeping you stuck is... Could be a Capricorn. It's the devil. Um, could be a toxic individual. Could be someone that's keeping you. You feel like it's trapped you. And it's keeping you from doing the things that you need to do for your life. Let's get the person you're dealing with. What kind of person? Who's the person you're dealing with? Who's the person you're dealing with? Pisces. You have the Queen of Cups and the Empress. So, the person that you're dealing with is wanting peace. They want, uh, you know, their boss material. They, uh, you know, could be a mother figure with the Empress. Could be, you could be the mother figure. That's loving and caring with the Queen of Cups. Loving and caring, but your situation's keeping you stuck. What kind of person are you dealing with? Judgment. Someone that wants things to that are fair. Uh... They want to love. They want to nurture. They want to create. Uh, clarify the judgment. We got Cancer. Got Cancer, Capricorn. Yeah, definitely Cancer. I said Cancer. Here's the chariot. Um, want to be fair in any movement that they do. Uh, Looks like they're trying to move toward. There's a lot of obstacles. They're try, maybe trying to move toward you uh, with love and nurturing. Uh, but you're feeling like it's keeping you stuck. Or you're trying to, you feel like they're going to move on. You're trying to be fair. Or they think they're being fair with you when they're causing obstacles. That's for some of y'all. How do they view you, Pisces? How do you, how do they view you? How do they view you, Pisces? Three of Wands. Someone that has many opportunities, that doesn't have to stay stuck in a place. They know that you could venture out, that you could do, you know, do th something. You could move on to whatever it is that you're wanting to do. They see that you're that type of person that, you know, you're almost ready to pick a path. What are your thoughts and feelings? The Ace of Swords. You're coming out of conflict. Whatever is conflicting with your ideas um, that you're going to. That you're contemplating moving out of it. That's what I'm seeing. Let's get some romance angels. Romance angels. Romance angels. Pisces, this looks to me like you're wanting to go go off somewhere. You, But you're a very nurturing person. You love and you nurture people and you help people. You want to be fair with people. But there's something in your heart you want to move towards. Uh, and you're thinking about it really hard. 
And this may not even have to do with anybody else in your life. Because the cards are saying to me, this is all about you. You want to try something new. You're wanting to, whatever it is that you're moving toward, you're wanting to take an adventure. You're wanting to get out of conflict. Is there a person on your mind? Yeah, you have many options. But you're thinking about which one do you choose because you know not everybody's a good option. As the cards unfold, a different story is to be told. You've got a lot of options here. Knight of Pentacles, but you do want stability. Um, you don't want anyone that's just going to take what they want for themselves and then leave because that only ends up in three of swords heartbreak that hurts people uh, you may be dealing with someone that hurts people uh someone that is that reads a lot they could be a reader they read a lot um books and read up on things they have um things that they want to move toward and they're, they're in their own little world it looks like they're emotionally detached, cause heartbreak. You feel like they're just out for themselves, um, and that they may have options. This reading is getting confusing, but I'm trying to figure it out. It's the emperor. It's the boss. It's the person, the business owner. It's uh, someone that people look up to. They, they have a structure in their life, but they're unemotional. They're into themselves a lot. They um, are not giving you much to go on. Now, you're feeling stuck with this person. Because you want to move with the chariot. You want to move toward whatever it is that your goals are in life. And you want to be fair. Uh, looks like this person is just very detached. Very detached is what I'm getting. Let's get some romance angels. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So maybe you've not been asking for support from others and you really need to. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So, if this is not the type of person that you want to deal with and it's hurting you so bad, then you need to release it. No, that's easier said than done when you spend a lot of time with someone, but we have to move on to clear our energy. Here is union. So, you may... This has to do with someone you may be married to. Clarify the union. Cleansing. Right. Just what it said. Release your ex. Release old habits. Release old things. Um, so you can come, you know, come to one with yourself. You need to cleanse your energy. You need to release people, per, people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Some people are on the same path as you, and you need to release that and birth something new in your life. Become a, a better you. Go after the things that you want that are good for your life. How do you feel about the situation? I think you're very fortunate. And you think about all the time how blessed that you are with the things that you already have in your life, which is great. Main male. May have a man in your life or 
a person in your life that really thinks about you a lot and they think about their money a lot. They're just thinking about how, ways to make money, how they're going to make money, how to get money. Uh, and uh, this person is looks like he's looking at this lady, but they're both looking side-eyed. So uh, maybe he's thinking about what's going to happen with his money. Maybe he doesn't want you to have his money or anything that he has. We'll clarify it. Looks like they're just focused on their self and want to keep things to their self, the Hierophant. That is someone you're committed to, the Two of Swords. And neither one of them is going to back down. And the King of Swords is in here. You know, they, they're they single people. They, you know, they don't want a committed relationship. As a matter of fact, the Hierophant in here in this commitment card... They're laughing. They're, you know, they don't care that either side's not going to back down because ultimately they're going to wind up by themselves. The King of Swords. They just go wherever the wind blows, okay? Uh, they're, they're bachelors or bachelorettes. This could be, a, you know, there's a cancer. Yeah, if y'all are dealing with a cancer, this is this dude. Cancer's Pisces Scorpio. So, some of y'all, you may be wanting to take another path. Uh, you're not going to back down because this is how you feel. This is how you want your life to be. This is what you're going to commit to. Um, th you know, you're the nurturing, caring, loving, fair individual that wants the same. And you don't need a person in your life that doesn't. That they're all their thoughts is what they can't, they're not going to give you what you're not going to get from them. Uh, keeping things to themselves. What is the outcome? What is the outcome for Pisces? What is the outcome for Pisces? What is the outcome? We have the world, end of a karmic cycle. Things are going to go your way. Even though you may think that things aren't going to go your way, things will, you know, if you clear your energy, figure out where you want to go, get a sense of direction on your life. Don't deal with people that's not fair. People that don't have your best interests at heart. People that really care about you too. Uh, four of Cups is not being satisfied. But with what you have, you have all these things. Somebody's bored and unsatisfied. So if that's the truth, which it tells me you're very thankful for the things that you have. Um, Maybe you're not satisfied because of the person in your life you feel like is not treating you fairly. But things are going to go your way, Pisces. Y'all like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. I think that's a message you need to know.